Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here at CES 2020 at the OnePlus preview of a concept device called the OnePlus X McLaren Edition. This is a concept phone that we'll probably never see released in the public, but the inspirations that we're getting here hopefully will permeate throughout the 2020 line of devices that we see from OnePlus. This is TK and this is XDA TV. So here we have it, the OnePlus X McLaren Edition. Uh, one of the main features that they talked about this was the fact that the camera is invisible. And as you can see here in the back, we actually don't see the camera sensors and we have multiple ones in the back. If I double press the power button to launch the camera on the front, you'll notice that the every so slightly will start showing. We have triple camera set up here. Uh, as far as specifications, overall, the specifications here will be very close to what we have on the McLaren, OnePlus 7T McLaren Edition 5G in the US on T-Mobile. Uh, the difference obviously is going to be the aesthetics and of course the brand new design that we have here. If I turn off the, uh, the actual display on the front, you notice that the glass disappears. Aesthetically, you'll notice there's the McLaren uh, logo at the top with OnePlus in the middle. And of course, right now, this is a concept phone dubbed to be the OnePlus X McLaren edition. Uh, we have uh, leather stitching, basically comparable to what we see in a McLaren, uh, with a very nice, uh, kind of like a speedway consideration going all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom of the device. Some of the main characteristics that we have here, of course, as far as the UI is a McLaren theme going through the device, um, as well as the fact that we actually have a special pro mode uh, function that we don't have in the standard McLaren, and that's the ability of using the ND filter. So you notice right there, there's an ND8. So let's go back. If I click that, you'll notice that there's an ND8 filter. Now, unfortunately, because this is indoors and I don't have a really good sun experience, I'll show you guys real quick a quick uh, couple of pictures that I took from the presentation they showed us where they were able to show the benefit of having an ND filter. And again, this is right now currently only on an ND8. I'm not sure if there'll be additional filters, but the main benefit of this is that once you go into the camera setup, opening and using it, the front facing camera will be pretty much the exact same experience. So let's go ahead and flip over. We'll go to camera and then we'll flip over on the front. We have the same pop-up mechanism, but the color gold here is permeating a little bit more. And of course the papaya orange color is ever so nicely present all around the device. Uh, they intend for us to use this device without a case. So the main benefit here essentially is to use it and enjoy it. And they're promising that the leather will have a very good durability, very similar to the way the seats are in a McLaren car. But overall, definitely very excited to see this device. Now, as I mentioned to you guys at the beginning, unfortunately, this is not a device that's going to be sold. Uh, for the most part, this is a device that's essentially here in concept. How are you guys doing? And the intention behind this is to provide us the ability of seeing what the technologies that OnePlus is looking for towards 2020, even 2021. So technology like 5G, technology like uh, the ability of providing new designs, new cutting edge designs that hopefully we can see applied to other devices or even other implementations. Um, specifically here, since we're not only using it to hide the, uh, the cameras, we're using it also to provide us the ability of having an ND filter. That's something that we have not been able to get on a mobile device before. So this was a quick hands-on look at the OnePlus X McLaren edition here at CES 2020. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of this device? Would you want to be able to basically upgrade to a brand new McLaren edition like this? Um, I'm hoping that someday we'll be able to get our hands on something like this outside of just a preview. But for right now, thank you very much. Like and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.